Life is a journey, but our destination is meant to be in heaven. You should not allow the struggle of this world to distract you from getting to your destination. Because there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end of it is a distraction. The devil is not ready to leave you alone, because if he does, you will receive your great reward which is something he will never have because he sinned against God. God created you for a reason. He brought you into this world for a purpose. You were not just sent into this world to enjoy yourself. Inasmuch as we need money to survive, we should understand it is not the ultimate thing in this world. Distractions may stop you from achieving what God wants you to achieve if you are not determined in your heart to resist the devil. Jesus himself was tempted by the devil because the devil knew that he was about to do something great on earth which is to bring salvation to the world. First of all, the devil knew that Jesus was hungry because he had just finished fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. The devil told Jesus to turn stones to bread so that he will eat, but Jesus replied, Man shall not live by bread alone. I want you to understand that the devil does not use those things that you do not desire. He uses things that you long for to distract you. And therefore, you must subdue your flesh if you must resist the devil because he uses things that the flesh wants to get our attention. You have to come to that point where you can easily say, just like Apostle Paul said, that for me to live is Christ, and for me to die is gain before you can stand and get distracted by the devil. The devil can use the challenges of life to make you feel that God has forgotten about you, but that is not true. God has a plan for you, and those plans are of good and not of evil that will bring you to your expected end. God did not promise us a smooth road as we journey into this world. Rather, He promised that He will be with us every step of the way. You may be going through a difficult moment and it may look like God has neglected you. I plead with you to still hold on to God because He will come through for you. He knows what you are going through and if you do not give up, you will not be put to shame. So many people have been deceived that there is an easy way to have a better life without the help of God and because of desperation. A lot of people have sold their souls to the devil. Do not be like them. There is gain in waiting for God's perfect time because when the Lord blesses a man, he is blessed indeed and nothing and no one can take that away from him. The devil does not have anything to offer you so do not get distracted by him because whatever he promises are lies. There are people in the Bible that allowed themselves to get distracted by the devil, and there are other people that stood their ground, and we saw that the Lord gave them victory in the long run. Let's take the story of Judas Iscariot, for instance. Judas was a man that had a privilege that most people were looking for but did not get. He was selected by Jesus to be part of his disciples, and he was always with Jesus. He was a portion to sit and be mentored directly by Jesus, but along the line, he was distracted by the devil and that destroyed his life. Judas did not understand that when you have God, every other thing will automatically be added onto you. That was why he agreed to betray Jesus for a little amount of money. He agreed to sell Jesus for money to be killed. How wicked the devil can be. Now when Judas realized that he had made a very big mistake, it was too late as the people refused to collect money or hand over Jesus to him. He resolved to commit suicide. That is the reward of allowing yourself to get distracted by the devil. The devil knew that if he allowed Judas, he would have done an exploit for the Lord as other disciples such as Peter did. The devil is fully aware of the great things you will achieve in this life, but he wants you to end up like him and miss the beautiful plans that God has for you. But it's your choice to allow him to ruin your life just the way he did to Judas or stand your ground and resist him. You may be going through a difficult moment in your life but do not allow the devil to distract you. God has a plan for you. He will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. 
Whenever you are about to receive your breakthrough, the devil tries to distract you so that you do not receive it. Therefore, whenever you feel like giving up on God, hold on to Him because something good is about to happen in your life. You have the strength to resist the devil if only you make up your mind. If Joseph can do it, you can also do it. The devil knew that if Joseph still lived a righteous life, God will take him to greater heights, and that was why he tried to make Joseph sin against God by bringing Joseph's master's wife to seduce him. But Joseph understood this strategy and flee from it, and in the end, God did a great thing in his life. If Joseph allowed himself to get distracted, he would have missed the plan of God. That is what you should also do. Do not enjoy a temporary pleasure when you can get a permanent one. Most of us are in a haste to enjoy this life that we become impatient to wait on the Lord, and we can no longer wait. Some go astray. Allow God to bless you in His own perfect time because God's time is the best. You can resist the devil's distraction if you build a strong relationship with God. Come close to God and He will come close to you. When you have a personal relationship with Jesus, the devil will not be able to come close to you. Always learn to spend quality time with God and make Him your friend. Also, you need to have a good knowledge of the Word of God because God's Word is our roadmap and as we journey in this world, it is also our greatest weapon to fight the devil. Therefore, study God's word so that when distraction comes, you can fight it. And when you do not get distracted, God will do something great in your life. We need to understand that on our own, we can't make it or do things. You need the power of the Holy Spirit to guide and lead you. Only then can you achieve true, lasting success in God. We're guilty of turning to God only when we've run out of resources or when we don't know what to do anymore. This should not be the case. The first thing to do when faced with the storms of life is to turn to God. He alone can calm the storm. Human effort will fail, and people you put your trust in to get you out of that predicament will let you down. However, we have a Father who can never fail you. He is the Rock of Ages, and He will surely make a way for you where there seems to be no way. When faced with situations and challenges of life, you must turn to God and remain calm. Stay strong. Stay vigilant. Don't relent on His promises. Continue to have that strong faith that God can do what you expect of Him. Keep praying and trusting God for that great miracle. Don't give up. When we wait on God to grant us whatever we need, we must continue to stand steadfast in Him. One way to do this is to keep seeking God through prayer and the study of His words. It is through the power of prayer and studying God's word that we have assurances in Him that He would strengthen your faith the more to be calm and patient even in the midst of the storm.